I can't get over how clear the water is. Man. I know. That's unreal. I thought we had clear water. Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and, and I'm here in, in South Miami, and I'm in search of one of the, th the fish that have been on my bucket list for I don't know how long. And, uh, and I'm just stoked. And this, the fish that we're, that we're after today is the butterfly peacock bass, or what a lot of people call the pe peacock bass. And to take me out on the lake today is, is, uh, is three-time world sailfish champion Peter Miller. And uh, he, I'm just, you know, watching him over the last, the last couple, two, three years. It's been amazing to watch some of the things he's done out on the saltwater. But now I've got him out here in the freshwater, and we'll see how good he can do it today. Uh, Peter, t tell me a little bit about a, bill, or about a, a peacock bass. You know, tell me what they, what they do and how they got here. All right, well, the, the interesting thing about the peacock bass is they were introduced to Florida back in the 1980s, and they were basically to eradicate the tilapia that were taking over the canal systems in the freshwater, and also introduced to be a game fish. You know, people, they wanted people to come down and have exciting fish to go after, the largemouth bass, the peacock bass. It turned out to be a really great thing to do because people travel from all over to come down to South Florida to catch the peacock bass, yeah. and now they're abundant. Oh. Um, some people say they've taken over the population of the bass. They've kind of put it put a hurting on, on the bass, but I feel like a, you know I get, I get a nice uh, nice coverage of both. You know, I catch a yeah. little 50/50. This particular lake that we're fishing today is chock full of peacock bass, so I feel confident that we're going to get you your first peacock bass. We're going to knock the peacock bass off the Fluke Masters list today, right here in South Florida. I Let's do stoked. it. I am absolutely stoked, man. Good. Let's have some fun. All right, man. <laughs> Gene's getting some peacock eye candy right now. Dude, he hadn't moved. No, he, he, doesn't even, he doesn't even care. Gene, I'll tell you what, I'll run the electric, mm -hmm. and uh, why don't you work work the shoreline, work some drop-offs, and, okay. kind of, and I'll just kind of watch, watch your skills, because honestly, I've got a lot to learn. I, I may have fished my entire life, but every day I'm out here, I feel like I'm learning something, something new. And with yeah. you, I know I'm going to learn a lot today. Let me figure out what we're going to fish with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, we the go-to, the always go-to, you know. Is live bait. Is a live bait. Oh, and yeah. If things get really ugly, I brought live bait like I do on every trip because I ain't too proud to beg. <laughs> you know why we don't use shiners? Because you don't have them. You don't have them. Yeah. Can't Here, buy them. All right, last cast with this. See, that's, that's a true pro right there. Gives it three, four tries. He says, man, I don't like it. Let's well, move on. It. Well, you know, the biggest thing is, is it's all confidence. Yeah. If I lose confidence in something, it doesn't matter if it's the first cast or the hundredth cast. Once I lose confidence, it's done. I hear you. You know, I put it up, I go try something different, you know? Yeah. If you don't, because that's, to me, that's 90% of fishing. If you right, don't, right. If you don't think you can catch fish with what you got in your hand, you probably won't. All right, I'm going to pull out one more bait, and then we'll see. Yeah, I see one on a bed right there. It's hard to see. He's right by that dark spot, right on the edge. The wind just riffled up on him. This so dark spot on the Yeah, right. that little piece of weed off that little ripple. Okay. Yep, and if you go across that angle, coming right at you, he's right there below it. There he comes. Hit it again. Two of them, two of them. Come on. Two of them. Oh. Ah! Look at that. <laughs> he was charging it. He was charging it. They're not going to quit. He's back yep. there. The other one's back on that bed. And now here comes another one. There's another peacock. Come on. Hit it good. Oh, it's backwards. He doesn't care. Hook. He doesn't care. Yeah, but I won't get the hook set. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't too proud to beg. They don't set really good backwards. <laughs> oh, man, they're freaking aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stabilize you here. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yep, there he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. They like that subsurface action. Yep. All right, guys, here we are with Gene Jensen, the fluke master with his first peacock bass ever. Is he gonna land it, folks? Is he gonna land it? Look at how cute that. that fish is. Wow. wow. That is a pretty <laughs> looking fish. I never get tired of looking at these guys. No. Congratulations. Thank you, bro. Don't get stuck. We're not gonna get stuck now. Look at the orange on him. Yeah, I got this. That is so cool. Hey, congratulations, Thanks, man. man. That's awesome. First peacock bass from the Fluke Master. I like it. <laughs> now I wanna go to I wanna go to a place where you can fish and catch the bass. <laughs>
we're basically just running the bank and, and off the edge of this bank there's a drop off and uh, the, the large mouth and the peacocks are staging up on that drop off. The peacocks tend to be going shallow more often. Hold on just a minute. Not a big one. Not every day you do that on camera. <laughs> it was on a rage crawl, a little flipping bait, a little grass flipping bait. Teeny tiny little things, but they're schooling out here. But uh, but they're staging up on these up on these drop offs, and uh, and we're just throwing whatever to them. I mean, from live shiners all the way up to uh, to topwater bait. I mean, we've just been crushing them on the topwater, and. Uh, the, the the bait the bait of the topwater bait of choice for me is a, is is a uh, striking sexy dog. It's not a bad bait. I uh, really have been you know probably what 15 20 fish on them so far. All right, other other things that you can use in this situation. You know we're fishing a drop off or a ledge, um, a dragging bait like a Carolina rig. What I'm throwing right now is a Texas rig craw, and I don't think there's any craw fin fish in this lake, but who knows? But like I always say, bass don't have hands. They're very curious fish. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna reach up and grab it with their mouth to figure out what it is. And you've got that split second while they're trying to figure out whether it's worth eating or not to set the hook and, uh, and bring them in. But uh, this is a phenomenal lake. I love being down here in Florida. You know, I met, I met Peter this morning. We've talked on a few phone, phone a few times and, and uh, it's been an absolutely amazing day. Uh, I, knocked, I knocked a fish off my bucket list, you know, Peacock bass, I always thought you had to go down to Brazil to catch them and down to South America. But I mean, they're right here in Miami. And uh, yeah, they're not the, the huge ones that you see down there, but they get four, five, six, seven, eight pounds. I mean, can you imagine getting a fish that fights like that? But, um, you know, it's just running the bank, catching one after the other after the other. And the sight fishing in water, you can see 10, 15 feet deep. There is nothing like it. You know, Peter Miller is a, is, a, is a phenomenal billfish fisherman, but you get him in this freshwater and he knows a few things. I'll tell you that. All right, guys. Well, I tell you, uh, it has been an absolute pleasure. My drive, my, my 10 hour drive this morning was, was well worth the trip. Uh, I had a chance to, to fish with Peter Miller. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Peter Miller's channel. He's part of the Hooked Up Network, the same as, same as I am. And uh, his channel is called Peter Miller Fishing. Go over there, subscribe to it. I mean, he's a saltwater phenom. So dudes, you just go over and just watch what he does and watch some of the, the videos that, uh, that he puts out. Um, I'd like to thank him because without, without him do, be doing this for me, I would have, you know, it'd been 10, 15, 20 years before I even got to the point where I was, I was catching peacock bass. So I'm really excited uh, to be able to do that. But let me tell you, um, if you like this video, if you like, uh, you know, if you like bass fishing, if you like fishing in general, I want you to go check out the rest of my videos. I've got 125 of them. Um, subscribe to this channel. Hit that little like button, that little thumbs up button that you see at the bottom. Hit that if you like this. Share it on Facebook. Share it across social media. Um, and and you know, continue to come back and check out my new videos. I'm going to try to launch them one or two or three every month or, or you know, however many I can get to at this point. So, Like I always say, visit BassResource.com for the answer to all your questions about bass fishing. And have a great day.